What would your ideal city look like? Well, actually, it's too hard for anyone to tell which city is the most desirable because we individually have different priorities to consider one city's attractiveness. As you've seen in your textbook, the first criterion is earning a living. It's mostly indicated by your incomes, which cover the cost of your necessities, build your savings, and maybe pay for your hobbies as well. Next, probably you're an architecture lover. You're passionate about the construction designs and love exploring the stars. Another factor is country value, which gives us a large picture of traditions and arts from a diverse group of people. Then the scale comes to the indicator of entertainment, one of our favorite activities that we all want to enjoy after our busy work. A good transportation system can also arouse your respect for a certain city because some of us really feel grateful for secured and convenient transportation. To me, saving time on traveling means so much. Career opportunity is another concern of city settlers. Sometimes you don't set the bar high for the salaries, but seek for a diversity of choice for job positions or for job satisfaction, right? The last indicator of bad cities is good shops and restaurants. But from my perspective, the rapid economic growth with high competitiveness in developed cities now has been the main reason for most customers to enjoy much better services and more high quality products. Now, I want to share with you my choice of the best cities in the world. In terms of earning a living, here we can see Zurich, the city of Switzerland. In this global banking center, the average salaries fall on about 5,800 US dollars a month. To those that are concerned about the job prospects, Pennsylvania is their dream. It has gained the highest class door city score and job satisfaction rating, apart from the highest number of job openings. About transportation system, personally I have a high respect for Vienna's public transportation because it is operated on an honesty system and with only one ticket, I can access to all subways, trains, local trains and buses. If country harbors your dream destination, Varanasi, the northern Indian city has an esteemed cultural status from its longest history. It is also the symbol place of Hindus and Buddhists. Moreover, it is well known for art and design such as fine carpets, ivory work, perfume, silk and copperware. And the last one is St. Petersburg, Russia, with the Catherine Palace. Its beauty comes from the architecture style of Rococo, which features light pale color, thin curves, secular and light-hearted themes. These all make the look of the city much more like a fairy tale than elsewhere.